Hello everyone. I can't believe it is September already. Today is September 1st, 2020. And I thought that we would kind of honor the month by learning a little bit more about um, items that represent um, the month of September. Um, we've all seen palm trees, right? When you think of a palm tree, what do you think of? The tropics, right? Islands. Here in Arizona, we have lots of palm trees, don't we? Did you know that the palm is a tree of the month? Um, here's a little bit of information about the palm tree that you might not have known. Did you know that the palm tree is named palm because it, if you look close enough, the palms, the leaves of a palm look like the palm of a hand. Can you imagine that? If my hand and my arm were if I were to manipulate my arm and hand to look like a palm tree, the fingers would be like the palm leaves. I would not know that, but next time you see a palm tree, I want you to see if you can see the arm and hand. It says palms have played an integral part in human history. For thousands of years, going back to the Mesopotamian times, the trees provide food, shelter, building material, and allowing people to survive in otherwise in otherwise in hospital desert climates. Some of the products still made from palm trees include palm oil, dates, coconuts, rattan furniture heart of palm, palm wine, and Asia. In ancient Rome, palm branches symbolize victory. In Christianity, what do you think the palms represent? I'm sorry, in Christianity and Judaism, what do you think the palm tree represents? Peace and plenty. And today, when we when we see a palm, we think of a tropical vacation. Okay, some special dates that and holidays that are happening in September to look for. Tomorrow, September second, is World War II VJ Day. Does anyone know what that is? We might learn about that tomorrow, so tune in. September 7th is Labor Day. September 11th is National Day of Service and Remembrance. September 13th is Grandparents' Day, so get together with your grandkids um, and your grandparents and do something fun with them on September 13th. Ha Rosh Hana begins on sund sundown, September 18th, and the autumnal equinox is September 22nd. We are on the way to autumn and, and the change of seasons, so look forward to that. Does anyone know what the birthstone is for September? How many of you have birthdays in September? Do you know what the birthstone, your birthstone is? I'm going to give you some, some clues, okay? And let's see if you can guess the birthstone. It says, next to the diamond, this stone is one of the hard, hardest materials known. This stone comes in many different colors, but the finest and well-known color of this stone is a rich velvety corn cornflower blue. Do you know what it is?
It says ancient Persians believed the earth rested on a giant, this stone, I can't say it quite yet, a giant, this stone, whose reflection gave the sky its color. The gem symbolizes truth and sincerity. Do you guys know what the birthstone is? It is the sapphire. A fun fact, did you know that rubies are red sapphires? I did not know that. I thought it was just a completely different stone. Okay, what is the, what is the, the month's flower? Does anyone know? We'll give you some clues. This flower takes its name from the Latin word meaning star, a reference to its star-like head. So the petals of this flower, if you were to look at it closely, it might resemble a star. Also known as a Michael Musk Daisy starworth and frost flower, the, this flower, usually blooms in late summer and fall and comes in many colors including blue purple pink yellow and red all with yellow or black centers does anyone know i'm going to give you i'm going to i'm going to hold up a, a picture if i can Does anyone know what flower that is? Anyone know? You might have seen a little parts of the of its name when I um, held up the picture of the flower, but it is the aster. Did you know that the aster flower symbolizes love and patience? September, got its name from the Latin word septum, meaning seven, because it was the seventh month in the old Roman calendar. Around 44 BC, Julius Caesar reformed the calendar and made September the ninth month. The Anglo-Saxons called it the Gerst Monoth, meaning barley month, because it was a month they harvest their barley crops. Originally, September had 31 days. Later, the 31st day was removed, leaving 30 days half September. So if you have a birthday in September, I'm gonna tell you what your birthday color is, okay? So if your birthday falls between September 1st and September 2nd, so if you have a birthday between on September 1st or September 2nd, you your birthday color is beige. It says people born under this color are active and sporty. They don't hold a grudge and adjust easily to new situations. Do you guys, are you guys good at adjusting to um, new situations? So let's see if your personalities match the description of each color. If your birthday is between September 3rd and September 12th, your color is aqua. It says aqua people can change their feelings suddenly. They are truthful and believe in other people. They like adventure and love to travel. Is that you? Does that describe you? You're a lime if your birthday is September 13th through the, through the 22nd. If you were born lime, you appear calm even when you are stressed. You can get jealous, but you are true in love. You are likable and trusting. 
If your birthday is on September 23rd, you're an olive. All of people are kind, cheerful, warm, and lighthearted. They seem to get along well with friends and family. And if your birthday is from September 24th through the 30th, you are purple. You are mysterious popular and unselfish. You are spontaneous and easily interested in things. It says, September is a month of fire. The Romans believe that Vulcan, the god of fire and forge, looked after the month of September which was associated with fires and volcanic eruptions. The ancient Romans were onto something because the Great Fire of London started on September 2nd, 19, or I'm sorry, the Great Fire of London started on September 2nd, 1666. The fire destroyed two thirds of the city, including 13,200 houses and 87 churches. Okay, we're gonna play a game for all you September birthdays, okay? It's called Take the Cake. And this is how I'll read a clue and you have to guess the name of the cake. Okay? So I'll give you the first one as a as a, a sample. A cake that fits in a mug. What do you think? What type of cake would that be? A cupcake. Do you get it? A mug, another name for a mug is a cup. Cupcake, okay? So that's how, we're, that's how we start, that's how we're gonna play this game. So the second one, so I'll kind of read behind the, the words. A cake that wakes you up. So what is associated with waking up? Okay, the sun, you know, daytime. When, when you usually wake up, what is one of the first things you eat or drink? If you guess coffee, you're right. Now put coffee and cake together. Coffee cake, has anyone ever tried coffee cake before? I haven't. Is it good? Okay, number three. A cake you can share with a rabbit. Oh, I got this one right off the bat. What do rabbits like to eat? Carrots, carrot cake, right? Good job if you guessed that right. Here's another one. A cake you find in the bathtub or sink. Okay, so when you're doing the dishes or you're taking a bath, what do you use to clean, your, clean the dishes off or um, get yourself clean? Okay, a brush, brush cake, it doesn't really fit, right? Think of something else. A sponge, right? A sponge cake, good job. A cake with weight. A cake with weight. Okay, how do we measure weight?
Okay, we stand on a scale and we do, we figure out how many what we weigh. Pounds. Now put it together. Pound cake. A cake that is not tall. What's the opposite of tall? Short cake. Good job. A cake for mice. So it's kind of like the rabbit one. What do mice, mice like to eat? Cheesecake, yes. A cake that is very good. A cake that is very good. Okay, so this is, might be a little bit of a stretch, but when you think of good and evil, okay, or good and bad, what is something that represents good and what is something that represents bad or evil? Okay, so evil, the devil, and then what would be the opposite of the devil? Okay, God, but, okay, when you th think about your conscious and you have like this little person talking to you on one shoulder and then on this shoulder, opposite shoulder, you're talking, you have your conscious, your opposite person whispering stuff to you as your conscious. And you it's, think of like cartoons sometimes, we'll use these two characters or two people as representation of good and evil, devil and an, and what? An angel. So it's angel food cake. And then this is the opposite of angel food cake. A cake that is very bad. Devil's food cake. So angel, devil, A cake you can get at a seafood restaurant. So this isn't really like dessert cake. This is like a entree. What's a type of seafood? And it, and the dish has cake in the name. So it, what's a type of seafood? There's fish, tuna, crab, crab cake is right. A cake you can eat when you're on a diet. So we kind of have to kind of think and stretch ourselves a little bit more for this one. What's a food that is cheap um, and very low calories. And a lot of people eat it when they wanna watch what they're eating. Rice cakes, yes. A cake you can eat while doing a headstand. So when you do a head, a head hand or a headstand, here's your head, okay, touching the ground. Your feet are dangling in the air, and so you're not upright. You are upside down. So upside down cake. A cake you can flip. Usually this is eaten in the morning for breakfast. But I like to eat, sometimes I like to eat this for dinner too. I cook both sides, you have to flip it. A pancake. A cake that sounds like a dress. Okay, so this is a type of material of a dress that maybe it is um worn for a fancy occasion a 
red velvet dress, right? So a red velvet cake. And then the last one, a cake to eat once a year. So what is a type of cake that, that you eat once a year? That's a hard one. How about what's a cake that you eat to celebrate um, you getting older? When do you get older? On your birthday. So it's a birthday cake. So the next and last game to celebrate September birthdays is um, an unscramble, um, the last name of a famous person who has a birthday in September. Okay, here's the first one. Lauren, and now we have to um, unscramble her last name. The letters are in the, her last name are L B A C L A. So Lauren If you guess Bacall, you are right. Okay, our next one. Terry, and, and his last name is H-B-D-A-R-A-W-S. So, famous person, first name is Terry, last name is... Bradshaw. Number three, Patsy. And last name has an N, an I, an L, an E, and a C. Patsy Klein, yes. Okay, next one. Ronald, and last name has the letters L, A, H, D. Ronald. Doll. Nice job if you got it. The next one, T, S, and his last name, or her last name, has the letters O, E, T, L, I. If you guessed Elliot, you're right. Okay, number six, Jimmy. And his last name has the letters A, L, F, O, N, L. Jimmy Fallon is right. Michael, and the letters for his last name include F, D, Y, R, and three A's. Faraday. Okay, Rocky. And last name has letters C, A, I, M, O, R, N, A. Rocky. If you guess Marciano, you're right. Okay. The ninth one, Grandma, last name S-E-O-M-S. -E Moses, number 10, Bob, 
Last name, W-N-A-T-E-R-H. So he uses those letters to unscramble to make his last name. If you guessed Bob Newhart, you are right. Okay, okay. second to last. Colonel. Last name, R-S-A-N-E-S-D. Sanders. And number, last one, Oliver. His last name has letters E-O-T-N-S. Oliver Stone. Hello. So before I say goodbye, um, I hope you had fun learning a little bit more about the month of September and um, had fun playing in a few games. Um, but I'm going to show you a picture in hopes that it will help you reminisce. Um, I want you to look at this picture and I want you to think back on maybe a fun birthday memory that you have. Um, maybe it was a favorite cake that you made or that someone made for you. Um, maybe it was a celebration surrounded by friends and family. Um, there's two that come to mind for me um, when I look at this picture. Um, I remember as, as a little girl, um, I had a birthday party with a bunch of my friends in my backyard. Um, and it wasn't just a typical, okay, party games and have birthday cake. I remember we did have birthday cake and we had pizza, I think. But the biggest memory that I have of that birthday, and I don't even remember how old I was, um, but I know I was probably six, seven, maybe, ten, maybe no, no older than 10. Um, but we, it was a Wizard of Oz birthday party. And I remember we had created a yellow brick road and it, um, it extended throughout my whole backyard and I and my and I had a fairly big backyard growing up um, a large driveway and a grassy area and I remember that it wasn't just a con piece of construction paper um, that was painted yellow it was actually um, blocks that were painted yellow and um and we had a and my friend and i who were there had to go on a scavenger hunt and we had to follow the yellow brick road in order to get to the destination um so that was a that was a fun memory growing up of one of my birthdays another one was um creating a monster cake for my son's first birthday and i'm not a baker at all i never really did cakes or decorated cakes, Papa. but um, we call him our little monster. Um, and so I created a smash cake. If you're not familiar with smash cakes, um, when a child turns one, um, they get a smash into their first cake or cupcake or whatever um, is given to them. Um, and you just videotape it and you just are entertained by them getting all messy um, and so our so my son's was a monster cake um, and it was fun to actually get out the um, frosting bags and um, the tips for decorating and really spend time on um, creating a cake that looked like a monster and I had made cupcakes that looked like monsters for the guest um, so those are two fun birthday memories that I have. Um, so I want you to look at this picture and I want you to think back of what was your favorite birthday year or birthday celebration? Um, and what did you do? 
Who was there? What type of cake did you have? What type of games did you play? Um, and I want you to share that with someone um, and ask them what their favorite um, birthday memory was. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.